Hi everybody, Yarn Fairy here to bring you yarn. I don't know where to start, I have so much. It's been such a long time and mostly that is because for all y'all, 2020 was bad. For me, it's 2021. Obviously. Um, severe COVID pneumonia, hospitalized, almost died. Great hallucinations. Those hallucinations were crazy. I had never taken LSD, but I imagine that was what it was like. You know, um, it was around Christmas. I miss Christmas and New Year's. Um, and I saw Clara from the Nutcracker for some reason. And I heard her and they were singing and dancing in the other room and the pediatrics ward and I was in the hallway in the wheelchair and I couldn't get to them. And then the elf came and got me. Oh my gosh, you guys. This man who was on the job that night came and got me and I swear he was in black tarts and the little green suit with the hat and the shoes. And I told him, I, I, I know you, I saw you 17 years ago. You were here in Pete's Den when they did the Nutcracker. Oh my gosh. It was insane. When I was first in the ER before um, they took me in the carpet, the we were outside because, you know, this was in the height of all this mess. And uh, there were rubber mats on the ground. I'm gonna lose my voice here, so just be prepared. Um, and those mats changed from the color of like sulfur yellow to green, red, and blue, and back again. And I'm sitting there holding up my hand, you know, in the middle of the ER. Oh, oh. I don't know what that was about, but it was trippy. And that's where all that was. So, yeah. I don't know. I think I spent seven or eight days in there, came out. They gave me all kinds of meds and the meds. Because I had been on NSAIDs for like ever. Um, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia back in 2003 or something. So I'd been on them for way too long. Um, at least a good 20 years or so. Close to 20 years. Whatever. I'm not good at math. <laughs> um, so yeah, they sent me home with uh, Pradaxa. Which causes internal bleeding when you have like that going for you already um and yeah i went home i stayed there for a few days and i was right back in the er the ambo and it was nasty i had a severe gi bleed i will never ever ever you know you you say these things you know i'm never gonna ignore this again um but i had lived with the sour stomach for so long and had been you know yogurting and all the probiotics and everything and Tums, I never took, but like, uh, I think I had just recently gotten the purple pill and was going to give it a try. Anyway, uh, severe jab bleed, couldn't stop it. They tried real hard. Three clamps, and then they kept me in there on clear liquids for a long time. Um, I came out, I had after it was all said and done, lost over 10 pounds and I was just looking really ill. I still don't look great, but um, I'm working on it. I'm coming back. And I dyed my hair pink. Can you see? <laughs> oh, you can't really see it. I'm all fuzzed out. Oh, you guys, I can't see a thing, so I'm just kind of pointing towards the right place and I hope I'm looking at the camera. Um, Something's wrong with my eyes. So on Friday I go in um, for an RFA. Ah, that is quick. On my um, lower back. Right now my upper is killing me. I've got cervical stenosis up there, which means the canal is too small for all the stuff that has to go through it. And one day he says, you're gonna look up, you're gonna look back down, and all of a sudden you're gonna be a paraplegic. Like, one of them, I guess, is severe. Oh, this severe. I could do it without some severe. On uh, Friday, after the RFA, I'm going in for a CT scan with contrast of my heart and lungs. And hopefully that will tell them why I'm still hooked up. Can't get rid of my little buddy here to save my life. I've tried many times. Uh, in all this time since December, I think I got off like three weeks total. 
but it keeps dropping. He's called me bad name, bad name, very bad name. Chronic pulmonary failure. <laughs> pulmonary? Pulmonary. Yeah, so we're not happy with that. Um, I'm going in to see the pulmonologist, doing the CT. I've got a bad, bad wing. It is really good right now. <laughs> yeah, we're just not going to do that. Um, so we'll find out about that, and we'll find out about the lungs. They're talking COPD, asthma, bronchial, blah, blah, blippity, blah, all kinds of interstitial lung disease I don't want to hear. Because those things, it sounds like you die from really fast. So that's where you guys come in. Um, my hands, I don't know. Y'all know this, right? I haven't been able to knit for years. See that one? He still works, but I can't. I can't get him out. That's as far as he'll go, and I'm shaking, trying to get it there. I have a um, thing. They want to take out the trapezius, take out a tendon, shove it in there like a donut, and uh, it shrinks the, the thumb. He says after a while, though, and after rehab, after about a year, <laughs> who am I kidding? Let the lung disease take you first. I don't want to do this. There's the neck and the both the thumbs, and I just... I'm not interested, you know, I'm not interested in a year long recovery out of a life that's getting cut too short, too fast. Um, so I don't know, I'll keep you guys posted on that as far as what I decide to do. You know me, I think I talked to the doctor, I have to be down without using it in a cast for like six weeks after I do it. And uh, after going through months with COVID and the GI bleed, I'm like, Six weeks is cool. <laughs> I can manage that. Um, speaking of managing that, I uh, have nothing to show. Uh, Blue Gardenia is so close. I have uh, just taken the final photograph I needed. All the goodies are loaded. The page is done. All I need to do is input it into Ravelry. I'm so slow. <laughs> I used to be like, you're in the little Energizer bunny, and now it's just like, boom. <laughs> Your energized energy then slow down. I, um, yeah, I used to be able to take the page. I'd have it at this point, and then at the same time, make the Ravelry pattern and go live. <laughs> Yarn's been dyed for weeks, and I only just got the picture of it today. And I hope you guys aren't disappointed. Uh, do you remember that blue flower with the green through it? I was aiming for that. I ended up with a green one and a somewhat more blue one. Um, and that's all I have color-wise. But you can have whatever your heart desires. You know that. I will fill whatever you want. And this one's on silk, so it'll really take color. So if you, like, want a black shawl, you know, we should do that. And this shawl, it's a flower. We start from the center in little petals and work out to bigger petals. It's a flower. One big blue gardenia. And there's a movie to go with it, too. Where should I start? Okay, let's start with the fact that pixie number one doesn't work here anymore. Pixie number one found a boy. Pixie number one is flying to coop. And I wanted always, for my whole, ever since she's been born, to knit and cover her with love and knitwear. And not so much. I've been working on this yak sweater I'll show you after a bit for uh, way too long. It used to take me six days, start to finish it bottom up, easy, not anymore. I'm gonna interrupt myself here. Wendy's Ramblings, that's what it's called. Remember, you signed on. <laughs> Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, and I'm forgetting. Holy cow, I wish my brain would come back. Um, so, yeah, Yahoo groups shut down. So, I can't, I tried and tried to publish uh, a letter over there to tell everybody, hey, this is what's up, there's 850 people over there. And finally, last night, I downloaded what's called a CVS before they shut it down. And finally, last night, I sent out my first spam. 
It was like 450 emails in the one and 450 emails in the second one. And I was just, now I've got nothing but uh, mail delivery, not whatever can be delivered. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm still going to interrupt myself, aren't I? How terrible. I was talking about Didi and we got derailed. Didi derailed. So I found all this yarn because I was going through um, the stock stash and there's just all this stuff in there. This one's sold. Worsted white, purple, blue, and green. That was gold shot soft, that other one. This is like the first thing we ever dyed. I can't believe this. And the first hand spun I've like, made for the business. Learn to work to wait two vocals and the hand spun. Anyway, this stuff is all up on sale on Ravelry and Facebook and the homepage of the blog if you're interested. This one sold, that's Owl. Um, oh yeah, these aren't listed with good reason. I'm waiting for somebody to get back to me. And these are sold, Pacifico I called them, because they remind me of the Pacific Ocean. I used to go a lot when I was a kid. Um, this one's still available. He's beautiful. I want to say this is like Frankie or something. I don't know how he ended up in the boxes that he ended up in, but anyway. So I pulled out all this stuff. Huge totes, okay, we have in storage for the business. And Okay, so this is like 20 years worth of sample knitting, stuff that I've dyed, stuff that I've gathered, knitting for like knit picks that I did professionally, uh, spinning the core needed to be a piece of yarn uh, that I did for about seven years, and then of course our own samples. So a good bit of the stuff that you're gonna see here is stuff that I um, have used or she has used in the business. And I thought, what a great thing to do we need to knit. Our people are the, just the best. Everybody kind of went, ooh, we need to knit. This wasn't my idea. But after it started going, I was like, yeah, help me, please. Um, okay, so I don't know how much time I have. So I was thinking it'd be nice to have like a baby layout. Uh, I always wanted to do a three month, six month, and one year baby surprise jacket for baby, like her Oh, what do you call it? People. <laughs> My grandchildren. Oh, that's right. <laughs> um, and an adult one for her to match one of them or none of them, I don't know. Um, and then some leggings, a layette, um, blankets already covered. Um, but yeah, and the way I like to knit the best is the easy way, because it's easy. You... Um, have your yarns and you knit with two of them at one time in garter stitch and you make whatever it is that you're making. If it's leggings, you work in the round, you make a little short row butt and then you make the legs and feet. It's just too easy. Anyway, um, I have boxes that are ready to go. These are oranges, purples, reds, blues. There's even a little bit of pink in here. Um, to be done with I don't know what. This is a very dark one. Jeepers. That skylight up there is getting you guys no colors. And it's dark. I did say it was dark. So um, mostly a lot of purples in there. And a light blue one. So why am I showing you all this? Because let me show you another one. I love this one. This one's beautiful. And look, there's this little pops of hot. And hot is in here, and then it tones down again. So, he just walked by. <laughs> um, the thought was to take the yarns, um, some of which have been included in, you know, other stuff. Uh, so, when saw, seen, sawn, <laughs> they are going to be like, Oh, I remember this. Uh, there's some hand spun, um, all kinds of stuff. And mind, 
Some of them are super tiny, they're just scraps. And what you would do is hold two of them together, work the colors, drop one, pick up another, work the two colors, drop the one, and you keep going on until you've made a, an awesome blend. And a lot of times, there's like a whole skein. You don't wanna work through a whole skein. You wanna change your colors every, you know, little bit. Like, depends on what you're making, but like a couple inches. Um, and sometimes that might be a good bit, you know, if you're going back and forth on a sweater and you're out at the edge for a big surprise, you're making a lot of stinking stitches. So um, you could use a good bit of it at that point. She's off. Okay. Um, so the idea was that you guys could get a box. I'm sending them for nothing. You guys get the box and instead of buying something off the registry, you make something and send it. I thought that was just, I don't know, was it, it was Val. Val did this. It's Val's fault, you guys. <laughs> I'm not Art Bugatti, I didn't break the plate. Anyway, if you see something, say something. I would love to send you massive amounts of yarn. This is like, I mean, really, scads with some hand spun. There's just, some of them are bigger than others. Some of them I had a person I thought about when I made it. I think, let's see, this one's mostly purple. Um, yeah, I like purple. I think I was thinking about Val when I made this one. It's like, she's leaving, she's moving. Bad dog. So it's like, Let's see, ocean, oh my lighting, ocean, 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 and sky, and then we have sand, yeah, you're not even seeing it, we have some sand, how fun would this be in it, and it's just a little tiny bit, so like, maybe a BSJ, this one, I had trouble with because I don't do orange. I don't know what my problem is, but there's lovely limes and greens and other things in here as well. And then there's just these weird little pops of, I think this was rainbow pop. Oh my gosh, you guys, I dyed that. <laughs> just feels so foreign now and so, ew. There's a red and a blue. And last but not least, Scads of purple and pink. So, if you've been around forever, and I know you, feel free to write. I need help. <laughs> this came out of like, I don't know how many boxes. And if your penchant, is that how you say it? Is to do lace and cables, then I have cones. Okay, not cones, cones. Five pounds or so of nature spun fingering. Um, all kinds of junk. And uh, yeah, a solid for like a, yeah, whatever. <laughs> How long has it been? 18 minutes. I used to go for 45 easily. So. I thought, we all thought, that if I worked on really large needles and throw, instead of picking, because this is the one that I, I wore down too soon, that I would be fine. This is 50-50 uh, lace silk, yak. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop soon, I'm sorry you guys. Um, yak and silk, and it's kind of a gradient I don't know if you can tell it's lighter at the bottom and then it gets darker at the top. I'm thinking put it back into a subtle blue and dip it in and out for a more ombre uh, look. It will go darker as you can see, but yeah. So, oh, and then 
the reason for this is because uh, Washington is cold, and that's where she's going. She's been a Southern California girl all her life. These are too big, which, as everybody knows, with Elizabeth Zimmerman, you have to have a certain amount of uh, stitches up here in the shoulder in order for the, the yoke to work. So for this one, I decided, that's my increases, that I'm going to go like this and make a little uh, corset thing with like a silk ribbon. Um, I have some up that I'm going to paint uh, little tiny ones, thin ones, which would be perfect for this now that I think of it. But I put them up in such a way that I can paint them across dark to light. Let's see if it works. It's a very fine, small, thin ribbon. I do have a bit of um, rayon up too that's better. And the other thing, Sorry, <laughs> I about elbow too, did I tell you? <laughs> Everything is just sort of breaking down. Was uh, her UFO back? Everybody's got one, right? Well, I'm not sure what any of it is, but they're awful pretty. Some of them I was thinking just um, bind off and call it a day. I know I brought the bag out. Well, there you are. <laughs> So here we have a design that never got off the ground. He's got uh, lines going every which way because this was, um, we're all mad here. The cat from Alice in Wonderland chess. Um, pair of socks. Aren't they cute? Can you see? They're just adorable. You wouldn't even need a pattern to finish them. Let me know if, if one of you guys want these, because, like, I need to just, you know, get them off the needles. I think I've got two bags like this full of stuff. This was another sample. This is uh, a crescent shawl called Hearts, as you can see. It was supposed to be a test knit. If you guys want it, I think... I'm sure it's in there and it's ready to go. Like, we could do it. Like, we could run it, like, right now. Uh, another pair of socks that were started. Not sure what that one is. Another pair of socks. She does like her mother. Only I think I got to the point where I was doing one at a time eventually. Oh, and these ones are great. These ones are, like, done. Oh, it looks like a moth got to them. It could be why they got shoved into this bag. I just took stock in mothballs. I keep mothballs in our stock. And then um, my personal stuff, though, I didn't, I didn't take good care of it. Anyway, um, I'll probably just end up binding those off. Um, ooh. Oh, no. So that's what happened to Mirkwood. This is Mirkwood, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Somebody needs to finish this. Okay, like I said, write me. Because everything's still here. Yeah, it looks like Mirkwood. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Mothballs. Holy cow, you guys, get some cedar, get some lavender, do something, but don't leave your stuff unattended because them suckers are, like, virulent? Is that the word I want? They just, uh, they're like the black widows around here. They just keep coming back. <laughs> so I have a huge box of mothballs, and every time I open a box now, I just throw some in because summer's coming, and the moths will be back soon, and before you know it, I'll have holy stuff again. <laughs> There's a song that I'm supposed to sing right there for y'all, but I ain't coming on these lungs. Okay. Oh. Pista resistance. I have Suze to thank for this 20-year-old quilt that's finished. 
this is how appropriate some wanted Sue, and Sue's finished it. This is Sue Linker as the designer. Uh, Sue through the years. So here's January. Nope. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's January. Uh, skating on a pond. And, oh yeah, Valentine's Day. You guys, I just spent $40 on um, one pound, four of them, one for everybody, one pound chocolate bunnies. They're stuffed with peanut butter and Reese's. They're so good. 40 bucks though. Everybody had to have their own. And look at the, she made little pebble things here. Swirls where the wind would be. This, I'm gonna have to sit down. Ooh. I'm old, guys. <sighs> this disease is making me older still. Okay. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, back in the day when I made this, I was bedridden. How funny that I'm showing it now and I'm half dead. <laughs> the, uh, what is this? Easter. Easter Sunday. The Maypole. There's so much stuff on this because it's three-dimensional. I'm crazy with 3Ds, you know. Little quilts, baby dolls. Everything's hanging off. Up in March, there's gold coins. I have a huge bag of stuff that I took off this quilt because I really went overboard. In July, at the beach, a weenie roast. August is school. Time to go back to school. At least it used to be in my day. And October, she's a ghost, right? No, an angel. I don't know. And here she's chasing after a jerky. I just think that one's great. I should have put blood on it. It's not too late. Curtains in the foyer and everything is like stuffed and you know there's like trim here and links uh, so yeah 24 years ago okay he's 24 now I was bedridden with her and um, I had like this thing like a schedule did my Bible study at a certain time watched I love Lucy at this time you know <laughs> it was great but it was also very challenging because here I am, this crazy type A person with tons of things that I want to accomplish, stuck in bed. Again. <laughs> so anyway, I wasn't supposed to get out of bed, and my husband always used to have a fit anytime he saw me doing anything, like, mm -hmm. hard, you know? And uh, so I'd get up in the morning after he'd left, and after I'd had my breakfast, and I'd quickly go to the room across from the bathroom, so it wasn't like I was going scads and scads and it was like a thousand square foot no 800 square foot house it was small i don't know how big it was but it was small and somehow there were three bedrooms you know one was only big enough for a crib another for um twin bunk bed up down what do you call it and then like a dresser and that was it um our room had a queen bed in it and you had to just there was just this little tiny walkway with the desk over here and a dresser so it was it was tight but I think everybody kind of starts in a real small place. Um, it was good. I couldn't keep it clean to save my life because of all the babies and dogs and being bedridden. But anyway, so I get up and I go to this tote and I pick out my fabrics. And by the next day, I needed to pick out more. I think some of them took, oh, this has got the camera. Some of them took two days. But for the most part, <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Come here, you. Stay away from the cord. Ay, ay, ay. Never a dull moment. What was I saying? 
So yeah, I was finishing them in like a day. It was crazy. Oh, you guys. At least I'm still smiling, huh? It could be so much worse. I could be like, have lost, I could like have lost my sense of humor and be crying my full head off and I don't know. So there's a wedding coming. I love this type of stuff. Loose flowing. I'm not your let's find a girdle kind of girl. I put heels on my uh, Achilles tendonitis and plantar fascia and all things. So yeah, I found a beautiful Sakas turquoise flirty little hem, perfect for me. And I've got turquoise Berkies to go with it, little sandals that are adorable. This has been driving me nuts. So, um, boy, I've owed this bag since probably November. Project bag, right? Not that far. All it is, is the flat one too. There's not even a gusset. I tore this apart probably four times already, trying to get a zipper into it. That's all I was doing. Just trying to get it in the right way up. Yeah, uh-uh. And then there's like three pieces that you gotta put together. Uh -uh. But when I do figure this out, I bought a lot of this for you guys because I thought this is really cute. So hopefully I'm gonna get better and all will be well and I'll get back to this and I'll be able to sew you guys a project bag for uh, some way future date because <laughs> it just sounds so tiring right now um a couple of <coughs> <coughs> excuse me maybe i should have brought my uh inhaler out huh what's that do with my pillow <sighs> only one a day you guys i know it's drying me out that and tea, so I'm gonna switch to water soon. Anyway, this stuff. I bought this because it's beautiful. It's, you know, raspberry, and how often can you find awesome raspberry looking stuff? And better yet, how often do you find raspberry stuff with a bunch of Alice in Wonderland going on? I mean, that's awesome. Look at that. You got the tea party with the table and the mushrooms, and it's even got words on it. So I'm excited to make this into a skirt for a while. I thought this was going to be what I was going to wear to the wedding, but <clears throat> mostly I live in those um, skorts because they're comfortable and they're safe. You know, they're still modest with a, a, a short underneath, and they've got... Uh, rib knit under and like a denim or something on the outside or a stretchy knit denim on the outside and they're just so comfortable and i used to be hmm, pre-covid uh really hot like even though i wasn't having hot flashes i was like super hot all the time i was forever putting the turning the heater off and everybody else was freezing so one last thing well, I don't know if this is the last thing, but these are cute. These are little panels that you can use to make masks. And uh, fortunately, masks are going out and I still haven't been able to sew, but aren't they cute? I need this one. <laughs> Looks like some sort of breathing apparatus. First, I thought I wanted the bunny. The bunny, the bunny. <laughs> Reese's bunnies. But then I was thinking, well, maybe I should have this one. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, forget about your lungs. Not so much. Anyway, um, a lot of fun there. Let me know if you guys want one to make your own blah, blah, blah. I say this far too much. And it's usually blah, 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 trying to remember what I was trying to say or do or whatever. Okay, so your movie, what you watching for this time, not that I've ever done this before, <laughs> is Dollhouse with 
Elsa Duche, something like that. Love this. There's only two seasons and it is so engaging. Um, I highly recommend it. I don't even want to tell you guys. It's like um, this place underground in LA and they hire out fantasies and it just goes to the end and back again and it brings you in because the characters are so awesome and then it rips your heart out and yeah it's good stuff it's good stuff I miss her I wish she was still working because uh dang yeah and what's his name is that right Russell Tover I have a feeling that's wrong anyway yeah um I bought before all this went down I bought like really expensive um, hydroponics in a box. Still haven't put it together. It's sitting back there. Meanwhile, I can show you what I've been doing. Yes, this is supposed to be my living room. See that glowy little thing way over there? Those are my plants. I was able to take a tomato from last year's harvest and put it up and I've got um, a little bit of mint peppermint spearmint I'm not sure but I've got a little bit of mint um, and yeah <laughs> I'm trying to grow they're not growing yet I'm not sure what happened to them um, I might have to grow them on a paper towel or heating I don't know anyway uh, off of Etsy you can get something called finger limes and they're the bomb they're awesome. They come in green, yellow, pink, and uh, red. Did I say that? Anyway, um, and when they're grown and they come out, you have to grow these in the city. I, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to grow them here. Um, I'm talking about Southern California people because I'm at 3,500 feet. If I grow them indoors, it's going to take up a lot of room because it's a tree, but I'm all for it because... <laughs> Oh, there she goes again. I'm going to have to quit soon. Anyway, you open up the chip, you squeeze it out, and it's like caviar. It's these little tiny pulps of caviar. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> now she's chewing my cord. That's enough. Oh, this is my world. <laughs> All the time now. Even if I try to write it, it's still... <laughs> Um, anyway, I highly recommend finger limes. It's not something I've ever been able to see, find in a store. The first time I saw it, I, it was, uh, it was either Sun Basket or Blue Apron. We get the food delivery because we're in the sticks and it's hard to shop and it's hard to plan meals and yada, yada, yada. So, um, see, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I died. Where did it go? I dyed the, um, wow, where did it go? Get off it. <laughs> she and I tussle all day long. She's a great cat. Um, anyway, I dyed a, a Wedgwood blue um, thing for the thing. This thing. Binding. Thank you. Um, where was I? So yeah, if I'm going to do the tomatoes and the limes, I'm going to have to get something different. I bought off of Amazon the kind of um, hydroponics in a box that's a large PVC pipe that feeds through three levels and like three or four pipes across. And in every one of the pipes, you can set a little planting thing. And these things are only good for short stuff, like um, lettuce, for instance. Not something that wants to go sky high, like, you know, sky high. <laughs> What's sky high in a house? But like the tomato, the lime. So they need um, a bucket on the floor. I can get four of those. Um, pretty cheap, but I really, really, really think I should start on the um, PVC pipes and get my lettuce growing. I've got two different kinds um, I'm just waiting for my strength to come back. 
mostly what I do is try to get orders done and try to keep up with you guys because <laughs> you move at hyper speed. Yeah, just kidding. Everybody's at hyper speed. Even snails are at hyper speed at this point. Hey, I got 40 minutes. I'm sorry. I really was going to keep this short for you guys. <laughs> it's amazing. Even I, I thought that without my sidekick that I was going to shrivel up and die. Not so much. Wendy can ramble with the best of them. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you're interested in anything you've seen. And if there's something specific, give me the timestamp on the video. And I will get it out to you. Y'all have a good day. Bye.